Good morning, this is Dr. Bill White, and I want to talk to you a little bit this morning. There's an important part about orthodontics, and that's dealing with the deep bites. And there's a lot of things that go along with that, and a lot of the uh, people that lecture and everything don't know a thing about it or don't seem to know anything about it. I'll tell you two two instances where uh, somebody was working on a deep bite and he moved out, it was real deep, and he moved forward out here, he had to move it out there to get the, the joint to quit hurting, and he came back, of course he opened the bite that much, and he came back and put crowns on all the bottom teeth that were kind of like a top hat crown that touched up here. He knew nothing about and I was in the lecture and I just uh, it just I couldn't hardly help but get up and tell that man my god why don't you learn a little orthodontics see if he had intruded the teeth he could have brought it out where the jaw was all right he knew about the jaw but he had no idea he could intrude those upper anterior teeth and the lower anterior teeth. We're going to show you a lot of that. Uh, and that was ridiculous. Another case, a guy's a national lecturer and, would, and did temporal mandibular joint cases all the time and was good at it. Well, this lady that had been hurting for years came down from Ohio and heard about him and came in and a student of the mine that was in a lecture once told me, said, I was there. And this guy, when he found out what was wrong and everything, he needed to move her jaw forward, but her teeth were sticking down like this and he couldn't go forward. He ground those teeth off where they could come forward and did root canals on them and fixed it up and uh, had it ready for her to go to somebody and get crowns on the teeth. And she hugged his neck. The next morning she came in and hugged that guy and thanked him for uh, fixing it where her jaw didn't hurt. And that was so ridiculous. I've got cases that will show you where they take the class two, division two, where it's blocking the jaw coming up here and just put a deal on coming down there with the intruding wire and it'll pick those teeth up and then they let the jaw come forward into a position where it doesn't hurt. In other words, you're getting the condyle off of the uh, retrodiscal tissue. Now let me uh, start this case here. I need to uh, get going with it. This, this is a nice guy, you know, and he has a deep bite that you, uh, a lot of you won't ever uh, run on to a case like this, but it is a deep, deep bite, and I'm going to do a little drawing on this. Uh, uh, his upper anterior teeth came down to about here somewhere on the face, and I may have a picture of a model. Now, all of these cases have a complete uh, deal on them, but I'm just showing part of them to show you these different things that you take place in there. Now this guy, his joint was very tough. And let me show you, I'm gonna erase that and go down to it. And that was the way this uh, teeth, his upper teeth just met inside the lower teeth. And, I, and he was wearing the teeth out, these, these were wearing and they were sharp. I mean, they wore down like an old uh, boar hog's tusk that wear out like that. And wore the back of the, uh, and the lower anterior shock right here. Well, we went in, in this man's case, he needed a little opening of the bite. I mean, uh, to increase the vertical dimension of his face from a, his nose down to his chin like that, and so we bonded something on these front teeth up here. It's just a tooth colored acrylic, and you can buy this uh, light cured acrylic. 
and it doesn't stick on there real tight, but it'll stick on there enough to do what you want to do. And uh, I think I've got a picture of it on in here uh, to show you. Now, when he bit two, his upper teeth went to this point right here. And these teeth were touching over here on the back side. Now we're going to come in and put a deal on the front side of the upper teeth. And here it is, just a, an acrylic, some of this tooth colored acrylic. You could have made them look like teeth if you wanted to. And I was in a hurry to get this case done. And so I built them right across these teeth. Now when he bit down here, these teeth touch this and there was a big gap between his teeth back in the back. Now somebody who has a, a, a weak joint, in other words, he loses his teeth out here and they touch. Now the, the weight that's on the teeth normally back here is on the joint. I think everybody that does dentistry should know that as you go out here so you don't bite too hard unless it's some desperate situation uh, with the biting on the front teeth you think these teeth can't take it but it's the jaw joint back there that's just a little behind where the muscles close to you can put your fingers up here and feel where the muscles come in about the second molar back here and the uh, Go from there, the wisdom teeth. And this is the tissues. The teeth are out in front of where the muscle uh, goes up and down uh, and pulls this up. And so when you bite on something out here, the muscle is closer to the joint than it is to this. And that way, all the pressure hits these teeth and these teeth will tend to come together if you've got somebody with a tough enough uh, disc on the teeth and the tissue's tough and they don't bite too hard. Then as you intrude these teeth, that helps intrude the upper and the lower teeth, see. And you also put these intruding arches on now. Uh, get into that later on. Now these teeth move together. These come up a little. And the upper ones drop down a little more than the bottom ones do going up. And it tends to level this out. But we put arch wires on here that are way up like this. Reach them down and catch this and pull these teeth up with that. And this arch wire would come down in here. And we raise it up and put it on top of your regular arch wire. And I can open anybody's teeth. I mean anybody's body. I mean, I don't care, and I can give up a little more vertical dimension. Or if you don't want any more vertical dimension, you you put a block under here, and this will intrude these teeth as they go up and do it all over the wire off of there. And you can intrude these teeth and not open the whole bite. In other words, you, you can intrude them without making the distance between the nose and the chin uh, and you can see if somebody comes in and their chin looks like it too close up there then open the bite and they'll look better so that's a kind of a complicated trick that many people I mean out lecturers do not understand that simply because nobody learns any orthodontics in school except a few schools dr west virginia dr miro you hear me he taught general dentists came out and spoke to us and several other people did like dr moyers was a good friend of mine and he wrote a book on orthodontics with gp uh, and just a fine guy and there's a lot of good orthodontists that didn't, they knew that we should teach the regular dentist 
bank said it doesn't matter whether he does it or not, but if he knows it can be done, he would go to somebody and get them to do it. You see, and that's what I'm hoping people who look at these uh, videos and know you can do it, and just you have a patient like that, don't let him pull on his teeth and make a denture that goes over the top of the teeth, or spread them out and crown them all like. I mean, spend thousands and thousands of dollars, and it doesn't, it's not necessary when you know some orthodontics. And that's so why I just wanted to give these videos and show everybody anywhere in the world what you can do with these teeth. All right, I preached enough on that. You can see where they are now. So these teeth. We've got these arch wires that are in here. You see that spring on that? That wire, if you turn it loose, we go up here. We bring it down. And we're opening the bite with that one. The lower one was fairly level, so here at this point, we probably just had a little bend in this arch wire. You can see it. But the uh, arch wire really would be up here. We go down here and catch it. So it, it, we pull that up and hook it to it and it will pull these down. Now, the arch wire that you put in, you go down here. See, and come up and put it in there and lower these teeth. Okay. Let me see. Let me make and raise that. All right. Here, the teeth are getting closer and closer together, back in the back. And uh, he was a pretty good... Uh, nice patient and everything and he said doctor I can't chew like that he wasn't grabbing about his joint hurting I would have had to done something we had a way to do this and have a, a put put a block back in here and it'll take the load and let these teeth come together and when they get together you gotta take that off and let these back teeth come together so it's a a uh, way to do that if the person has a weak uh, joint and can't do that. Uh, all right. So here we are now. When he bites these teeth together, these teeth are touching. It surprises you. It doesn't take, but just uh, it may be two months or something, and you will have the teeth touching. Now these are teeth right here. It went down to here somewhere. And now that thing has opened that far and maybe two to two and a half months. You can open anybody that's living, that's got a fairly healthy teeth. You don't want somebody that's about to fall out from periodontal condition. But you can, you could open them. They might not do very good. All right. Now, when he touches back there, when I took this off, these teeth didn't even come in contact. Show you how efficient it is. Now, this level, it's hitting a few places back here, but this is still open. So, we didn't want it to close completely. It was, if you leave it alone, it means we would have gone down behind this. Now, we, while this was up like this, we put springs in here. And we push those teeth were down here. We got them up here and moved them over the front. And that left a gap in there, so we added teeth in those gaps. And after he got everything going, these teeth didn't look too bad, but they were sharp. <laughs> and he could have bitten your finger in two with that, I believe. Uh, all right, let's go and see. So there's a big gap in here now, and we're going to stick teeth in those gaps just to uh, put some we could usually use this acrylic uh, teeth that like you'd make dentures with and fill those gaps up like that and here he is now we just skip the head and we fill those gaps and close that down and line those teeth up I've got all this in another video if you want to see the thing in detail. And here he is finished. And that's a case that was like that. And it went 
up here. And then there it is. Now these anterior teeth look pretty good after you got them up there and smooth all that out. But you had to fill these places in with bridges. And it cost more to put the bridges in than we charged him to do the orthodontics. And it went from that to that. Well, let me see. And <laughs> not this. Now we've got another case here that uh, I'm going to run through and show you some important things to know about deep bites and how to deal with them. And you can do it. You don't have to be some special guy. I mean, you see what you can do in this. Now, this is a nice fella here with a uh, head of deep bite. We put these intruding wires and raise and open the teeth here. I don't uh, didn't bring any of the other pictures up on this, but we close the bite with the arch wire and the intruding wire, and here's the fella right here. And here's the way the teeth, these upper teeth, were down to here, and we raise them up. And let me see, uh, that's the way he looked from there. Now let me go back, and there they are. Now looking in from the back side, which is not any good way to take that on the person, but you can take it on the model. Now when we started, actually these close further up, these teeth would touch the tissue, not up here. And of course we weren't going to, we intruded those teeth. If you took another shot of, of models, and I don't think I've got that, then you see the difference that made in that guy's face. All right, here's another case. It's, it's really a bad deep bite, and it worked out very good. <clears throat> now, here's a class two case. See, this, this needs to go there. In other words, this little point in the cusp of here needs to be up like this, something like that. And so this crown would be like this, going up here. And the teeth, of course, come back down in here. That's a pretty bad route. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to explain that. And you can do this to any but I, 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 I stick in your nose out, but I have not found anybody that be able to put it that way, that we couldn't open this bite. Now we'll put arch wires to pick these up and put these down in here and open the thing up. And when you open it, see these bottom teeth are buttoned into this. So they can't move into class one with that. But when you raise them up, as you pull them up, they will also kind of go forward and their torque and them will look more normal when you get them up to the front of the tooth kind of turns out like that. And the same thing on the bottom. But when you get it up and get those teeth out of the way, this jaw moves forward. It's easy to move it forward. Uh, you can put this little class to elastic on it and it'll do that. Or you can put a little tiny coat of, of uh, acrylic in the groove of the bottom teeth to keep interdigitation from holding you from moving forward. I've got a video on that if you want to look at that. Uh, so there's a lot to understand about deep bites and you don't want to increase the vertical height of the face, then you put some blocks back here when you're putting these intruding wires on there, and you this is built up, and you've got the blocks on these teeth, and that pushes these teeth down as your, your wire that's going up here, and you pull it down to hook it. Now, it's got one of these little... Uh, springs on it like, uh, let's see if I go in the right direction here, and you make a loop like that, and then you go off, 
And when you pull this down, it tightens this spring up right here. And it has more force to come up in that direction. So I'm gonna, that's another trick that you, you really need to do if you're gonna do this. Now, don't jump on a case like this uh, if you just, just learned how to band teeth and, and uh, bracket them and bend the arch wire and don't understand. But you can go back and forth on this until you know it. I don't want to appear smart aleck or anything, but I think people can do a lot more than they do. Now that's the way it's bite close to that point. And this side over here is class one. So you move one side forward and not the other side and the midline catches. Now this bite, deep bite, keeps you from moving your jaw in the front direction. Now that bunch, that guy, can, he ground these teeth off up here so he can move this up. And this is, fresh pressure was back here and that's putting pressure in this joint. And this woman had suffered for years for that and came all the way from Ohio and read about him somewhere. And this student of mine was in a, in a class and he took them and ground those teeth off so the jaw could come forward and just immediately did, did root canals on And she went to the, her and her husband went to the hotel and the next morning came in and just hooked his neck since the first night she had any sleep or any the pain was gone. And that is a shame. I mean, why did these people not know something like that? The orthodontics of picking these up is simple. And, and we thought, I mean, the orthodontists that ran on this type of thinking have hurt orthodontics, really. There would be more patients refer to you if you talk to General Davis how he could do that. And it's, it's not that difficult to do it. Now, the deal on this is that I have a whole video on this page, you see, from this case. Now, here's a good example of these intruding arch wires. And this wire, if you turn it loose up here, it'll be way up like that. Pull it down here and hook it to these teeth. And you hook it, you can see there's a little flexible wire in there, and this is over the top of it. But the little flexible wire is lining the teeth up, and it's making all of them the same length on here, and then this intruding wire just picks everything up. And then you got one down on the bottom, and it's pushing all these teeth down in this way. Your molars will come up some, but your occlusion hits them back here and pretty well keeps that thing down. If you don't want them to open anymore, then you put blocks back here and they'll be in contact and that won't let them. I can take a deep bite case with too much of this link here blocks back there and if you put the block up here in the front you'll give them some length. If you put it back here I can open the uh, deep I mean, uh, high angle case and actually make it lower or some, somewhat lower. That's hard to do but that will work and so Let's see, I need to get rid of that. You put these intruding wires on. I've got videos on it and how to build a wire and all this kind of stuff. But I don't think people, oh, no, we didn't want to open this bite at all. So we put blocks back here and that raised the front teeth and we put these intruding wires that normally go up here. They pull them down, they pull them down, it tightens this spring, and that makes it go up 
tends to push this tooth down and the bottom it hits this acrylic pad I've got on this back too and it literally won't let the, the vertical dimension of the face increase and that's a high angle case that they tell you don't jump on something like that unless you really know what you're doing and that is true but people seem to know what to do and they get out of orthodontic school and they don't do it and that's that's a shame i mean you can open the bike now there's nothing i mean any kind of a shell plastic thing they tell you it'll do this it, it is not and the, the, these uh, shell way they treat in the case it brings a lot of people in to get their teeth straight and I've done some of them I've never done one and I didn't have to put a few brackets on it to finish it out halfway decent now I don't mean to get in a big squabble with, with those people but they ought to tell you that then if the person wants to do that but if they need to have some real orthodontics done it, it's uh, I've had a lot of people I show them how to do it how I did these like this and they you know there's no way that that plastic's gonna open that they've got some ways of leveling a little bit but then they end up with a, a plastic coat over the teeth both lower upper and lower and the teeth don't fit like they going to fit after they take the plastic out so I'll hush up on that uh, anyway we put those blocks and we leveled his bite out and there it is where this deep bite is and here it is when we finish the guy up now this is comprehensive orthodontics and you cannot accomplish this you can do a little bit with this I said I better push the baby <laughs> raising the devil with me for not going along with me spend millions of dollars and when it was up like that I can't move this lower jaw forward I don't need to move the other one so I put some elastics holding that one back and put some elastics over here bringing this one forward and you can twist the arch like this now you might do a little bit of that with the uh, plastic shell but uh, not really I mean if you need to do that and you think you're going to do it with plastic shells you've got another thought coming all right here it is and it's in in a class one relation and now we twisted the arch on the other now this side was like it was and it's still that way and that's I think this is the end of this it looks like that tooth if it's dead it, we didn't kill it it was there when we started and that's the way we put the bite plate to hold it there and uh, this was the way it was to start and so I've got one more case here I'll try to go through right quick uh, this is a young lady and you see how her jaw is back she needs to have the jaw brought forward and open it just a little bit but not much and she is a deep deep bite you see and those lower teeth are right up on the cam gum up above and so we put these arches that raise them up on her and this is the way it looked that we got through oh i'm sorry there's a, a oh this is a <laughs> Uh, a complicated case a real complicated this guy only has nine of his permanent teeth and uh, I've got videos on him and everything you'll have to go look I don't have time here to really uh, go in this in detail but we opened the bag kind of like we did on that guy in the first case and I knew where the 19 teeth were of course and we put them where they should go and then extracted the deciduous teeth and he had a mouthful of bridges made and 
I dealt with some other people working on that. And you can see where the teeth are missing and everything on that. And here it is finished. And he's got a mouth full of bridges. And he's only got 19 of his permanent teeth. He's a, a sheriff here in the town where I live. And uh, I got to know him real good. He was just a kid when I started in on this. And uh, I was driving a little fast on the main street here in town. And he pulled me over. And <laughs> he came up to the window and he says, Do you know who I am? And I said, Unfortunately, I do. And so he did not give me a ticket, but that, uh, he said, slow down, and I have, all right, that's the one, and here he is with his team, and he's a sheriff, he's been a sheriff here for, this, probably this was back 20, 25 years ago, see, and, but he's got a mouthful of bridges, and that's where, how you can do in this case there he, I worked with a restorative guy and also an old surgeon he did a little work in there on that and so that's it now this is another video here we will go into so I'm going to say goodbye and I hope you'll look at this and if you're a dentist Learn some of these things that you need to know. And if you're doing a lot of T and J work and lecturing on teeth and moving the jaw around, for God's sake, learn a little orthodontics and you can intrude the teeth in less time than you think. I can help with anybody back in about a couple of months. You can have it pretty well open. If you open it like that, uh, you can do it about twice as fast as just putting one arch wire in with a bin like that. Okay, I'm going to close it out here. I can find my little marker. Uh, all right, there we go.